going on guys back for another summer scouting video with uh, me and Martin it is 5 45 p.m. we're getting a good start for the evening but we're gonna hike up through these pines which the good news is there's already some tracks on this trail there's been some tracks kind of hit and miss through the downfall but typically when there's tracks here there's triple the amount of tracks up at my tree stand there's two ways to get to my stand the last time we came in on the top and we decided to come from the bottom this time so the goal of this trip is to do an overnighter today we're gonna hike up hit the tree stand check the trail camera see how the crater lick is doing just kind of make sure everything's buttoned up there we have enough battery SD card space etc and me and Martin are gonna get up high for the evening glass looking for big bucks in my favorite place to hunt it's gonna be the first night at deer camp this summer it's gonna be fun I'm gonna make a two-part series today and tomorrow so just want to invite you guys to come with us and hang out we still rolling yeah. Oh, oh you, were you talking for the camera? Right. I don't know. I'm just always blabbering. That's probably I thought you were going to start walking, so I started. Man, I wish I knew how many times I've made that push up to this trail. We're right here at the tree stand. We left at 519. It's uh, 6.05, so 40 minutes. Yeah, not bad. 40 minutes to the tree stand. With a heavy pack, not crazy, crazy heavy, but with some gear. Good to know, good to know. That's what's cool about this spot, is I can literally come sit here in the evening or in the morning and actually just go back to town and go to work. So, tree stand's right there. Trail camera and salt lick is up here. Let's go see if there's any shooters on the critter lick. Come on. I love this spot. Pounded with trails and tracks. They just really, really feel comfortable in this, this dark timber. We're not gonna spend much time here at all, just so we can get a lot of time glassing tonight. So I'm gonna to take a quick look. Gotta leave it with a fresh, clean lens. Let's see what we got. How many photos? 506 photos, 64% battery, which I don't think we left this one at 100%, so this will probably get me up into and through the hunt, to be honest, but 506 photos, man. All it takes is that one big one, especially the tree stand buck. Please, if he's on here, I'm gonna freak out. Uh, when you check cameras, this goes for everybody. I'm asking Martin right now. Do you start at the beginning or the end? I go from uh, the day I left. Yeah, it's always exciting to go up until. Yeah. But sometimes it's nice to like start at the the top to be to like, see what's, what's most recent. Newest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's get some details. I was here. I came by myself just a real quick on June 29th. So there I am, June 29th at 4:30 p.m. The first buck to show up is the 30th at 3.38 a.m. Just a little buck. Got some does. The easiest way to browse is really just to go day by day. Look for those big bodies. Whoa, dude. Is that the bull you saw? Could have been. He was big. His back ends were bigger. So this bull is most likely the one we caught on the trail cam above here. Yeah, so he's in here. Well... I was just telling Martin on the way up, I've literally never seen an elk at my tree stand. Always been at the top of this canyon, which isn't that far away. But there's a dude, I mean, in my opinion, a slammer. Martin's... That's a way good bull. Martin says it's way good, so you know it's Oh yeah, dude. look at the fronts. Wow. Yeah, yeah that's a great very one. well could have been the one I saw. Mm-hmm. Because his backs probably would have been more grown in since then. Yeah, moose. No? Huh? Dude, no way. That's our homie. <laughs> this guy, like, just runs all over up here. That's got to be the same one I caught on the other camera, don't you think? Yeah, same color. All right, well, we have not seen a big buck. A hiker and a poodle. Sec <laughs> <laughs> That's the he's, second he's time. He's got binos, though. So he might have been scouting. Oh, he's tricking everybody with the poodle. It's the second time I've seen a dog in here. Small buck. 
Honestly, not looking good for the big buck, but yes. different another bull. bull. Another bull, new one. Nice slick five. He might split. Looks like he's going to, huh? Yeah, have some little backs. Heck yeah, man. Another small bull. Another bear? <laughs> A different bear. Dude, what is going on up here? This is my deer spot. It's there are a, taken over by bears and bulls. There are a lot of bears up here. Dang. No there's bucks. not one big mature buck on this camera. Not one half decent mature buck on this camera this year so far. We're still gonna leave it. Still have hope. Good news is there's big elk and the, I have an elk tag. Okay guys, we're gonna move on. I'm just gonna basically set this back up, save what images I want to the phone, format the card to open up space. We'll move up uh, a few hundred yards from here. We have a video mode. We'll just check it real quick. Most likely gonna be a lot of the same critters. And then we'll probably just book it to deer camp. Headed to the next camera. I actually have it on video mode and uh, there's some good traffic up through these trees too so this trail leads right to it that's our next stop looks like they've been stepping right here probably curious what the noises are from that thing so let's check it real quick what do we got 58 videos and 95% battery life. Sweet. Be cool if we got those bulls on here too. That's got all the secrets right there. The SD card knows what's up. So this one, like I said, I put this one on video mode. I typically don't put video mode on the baits because they would just get eaten up. The battery would be getting eaten up. The SD cards get eaten up quick. So you typically on a bait side, I like still photos unless I'm like hunting and I can check it and change it and stuff. So this one's just on a main trail. And look at the trail down there where it goes to. Dude, it's just like beaten down. So there's the first one that came in was on the 30th. Little buck that honestly I don't even think is on the tree stand. Maybe he is. Oh look, and that one caught the deer way down on the trail. So to view them, I've got to import them to my phone. So hey, this might be floppy ear doe. See how her left ear is bent in half? Looks like it. Yeah, it's probably the same floppy ear doe that comes here every year. Ooh, that's gonna be a good one. That is at 8, 11 p.m. So moving in daylight hours. Instead of just showing you guys on the screen, I'm gonna let some of these play real quick. Just straight through, no music, no nothing. Just you can listen to the ambient noises of them moving around. While you guys are doing that, we're going to bomb up to deer camp and we'll catch you guys at High Country Deer Camp. So enjoy these next stealth cam videos and we'll see you at the top. it'll be on video <laughs> looks like they've been stepping right here probably curious what the noises are from that thing so 
Let's check it real quick. Ah, the top. Hard work's over with now. Just getting to the last peak before we get to, to deer camp. Set up there, get the, uh, at least get the hammocks laid out. We'll just unload the packs a little bit at camp. Like I said, at least get the hammocks out and see how much time we have left before glassing light. Sun is a little high and honestly glassing this direction, the sun's right in our face, so we got a little time to set up camp. I love it up here. I've said this almost every time I come up here, but deer camp is literally one of my favorite places on planet Earth. You guys have probably heard me say that before if you watch the channel, but I love it up here. Here it is. Welcome to deer camp, ladies and gentlemen. 2019 edition. We have had a lot of dinners right here, fires and good times with everybody, so. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I love this place. Just a lot of good memories, a lot of hard work into this zone. And uh, the only buck we've killed out of here is Casey's buck, and it was ancient. Thing had like no bottom teeth, big old heavy buck that was just regressed. A buck that Martin had seen in the past, and I think that same year. Tore apart the backpack to get everything out, but me and Martin are living the hammock life. So typically, every year I post mine up right here, and I build myself a nice shelter out of the tarp. I have a couple different um, hammocks. Uh, this this one is a double wide, so I don't know if they consider it two person or not. Two people can lay in it, but because it's double wide for a single person, it feels more roomy, and you can spread your legs out different and kind of lay at an angle. So if anybody's looking into getting into backpack stuff and you want to try a hammock, if, it's, if weight isn't an issue to you big time, I would try a double wide if you're like kind of like a first timer. I think it's more comfortable. So you got your straps and your hammock. These trees could be a little further apart. I've been doing it about like that. So I had all the different options. That's what I did. But we're just gonna guess and see where we're at. Hook that side right there. So we're gonna go there. Actually, I might have to go at the tip top of both. Always try to get it level if possible. There we go. All right, we're gonna do the same for Martin real quick. Dang, man. I love this place. You guys look at this view, look up. You got the Quakies at night, you get the stars. You get a little breeze right here every night because we're kind of on the ridge. All right, guys, we just snuck out. Uh, we're just about to break through from the tree line and I could see a buck bedded. One of the really popular areas that we see them just sitting there kind of staging. What they do is kind of stage right here before they really start moving around in the evening light. We have to creep out for like another hundred yards to get to our little nook and cranny where we like to glass from. I think we'll be all right if we just go slow. It's a nice buck. Big, just a really nice quality 4x4. Four four. I take that back. He is a 4x3. Four, four on the left. Nice pretty frame. Three on the right with a back fork but no front fork. Alright guys, we're still baking in the sun but we've already spotted um, three bucks up high and then I spotted a single two point down low and then a doe across the way. Before it gets real good I'm gonna eat a snack so I'll show you what we got what we're working with here. Ritz crackers you guys know me I love the Ritz. Some candies. Sriracha or herb and garlic? I think I'm gonna try sriracha. It's gonna get some really good HD video through the scope with the phone scope so come take a look at this so that's how you want it to look you got a perfect circle with a really sharp line you don't want it to be canted and have a blurry line or dark line you want it to be about dead center what I like to do is zoom in with the phone first 
him right there. Tap the phone to focus, it looks good. Hit video. And right there, you're getting some HD quality video with your dang cell phone through the scope at 350 yards. If you want, you can zoom in more on your phone, or if you want to really get close, zoom in like this with the camera or with the actual scope. Again, just hit that to focus. Now you got it a little closer. Pretty slick tool, guys. If you want to get yourself a phone scope, again, this phone case fits an iPhone XS, and this adapter fits the Vortex Razor. And this is actually the older model Razor, but it's two pieces if you want to get them both. You need to pick your phone, pick your scope, put them together, and you got yourself a nice digi scoping setup. Use the hush code at phonescope.com. You will not be disappointed, I promise. These things are so much fun. Pyro putty time. This is a new fire starter that we have on our website. But yeah, we're just going to start a quick fire up here. One of my favorite things to do here. Today. Just because it's so relaxing, it gets pretty chilly up here at night. So I think we'll just throw that right there. Just a good size ball of that. And you want some of those fibers out on the edges. That thing should pick up real quick. Just like that. This is a really affordable product too. You can get the big size for I think 10, 12 bucks, something like that, and it'll last you quite a while. You'll be able to build plenty of fires with this, but I'm gonna grab a few more sticks real quick. Get this thing cranking. It smells good. Ooh. <laughs> we have fire. guys we enjoyed ourselves not like a true dinner mostly just snack food another uh i ate some snack sticks the ones i made and some rich crackers we ate trail mix what'd you have tuna i had tuna martin's going low carb tuna pouch yeah he had some trail mix too but it's time to hop in the old hammocks got mine set up pillow Martin's even blowing himself a pad. I will not be cold tonight. And I got three layers of all the first light jackets on. <laughs> it does, guys. Up here at this elevation, even though it's hot in the day, it gets dang cold at night. And when you're sitting there in the shade in the morning on the glassing knob, even if it, there's a little bit of a breeze, it can be really cold. So I also have another hoodie in my backpack. I don't think I'm going to wear it tonight. I got a pretty nice sleeping bag uh, situation going on. So... We're going to hit the hay, but we are going to film tomorrow, so make sure you check back for tomorrow's video. I think the morning glass has better potential than what we saw tonight. These next few weeks is really going to come down to like what areas are the most consistent, what bucks end up growing the strongest and are the most huntable, and we'll kind of pick and choose where we want to go from there, but hopefully it's close to deer camp because I really want to camp here, stay here, and hunt here and hopefully kill big buck out of this dang camp once in my life so that's my goal we'll subscribe to the channel and uh please check back for tomorrow's video we'll pick up right where we left off right here in the hammock so have a good night and we'll catch you guys on tomorrow's film